Hi, this is Tony Kuiper, and I'm very happy to once again be working with Sean Bagshaw on a new series of videos to demonstrate a custom actions panel for Photoshop. The new TK Actions panel incorporates almost everything I know about luminosity masks into a single custom panel. It also includes techniques I learned from Sean's Complete Guide to Luminosity Mask video series, as well as recommendations I received from other photographers who use the actions. Luminosity masks can be very helpful in developing images, but they do take some time and effort to create and use. While actions can speed up the repetitive keystrokes to make the selections in masks, an extension panel does it even faster. These panels have buttons linked to specific actions and have the advantage of being able to combine a large number of actions into a relatively small space. Instead of scrolling through various action sets on Photoshop's regular actions panel, a button on the custom panel finds the desired action and plays it in a single mouse click. I found these panels very useful in my own workflow. This newest version of the panel was specifically designed to work in Photoshop CC using the new HTML5 standard required by Adobe. There is a corresponding Flash version of the panel included in the download that works in Photoshop CS5 and CS6. The two different versions are necessary because Adobe has stated that future updates to Photoshop CC will no longer support the Flash-based extension panels. The HTML5 panel will be mandatory. Older versions of Photoshop, however, like CS5 and CS6, will still require the Flash-based version of the panel. So which version of the panel you install will depend on your version of Photoshop. The two versions function exactly the same and use exactly the same action sets. The panel consists of two tabs. The Basic plus TP tab contains buttons for making all the basic mass as curves, or levels, adjustment layers, or as channel masks. The triple play section has buttons for playing the various triple play actions depending on the desired effect in the image. There are several new things in the actions tab. The first is view buttons. They create a red mask over selected areas to help better visualize what's being selected. The way they work is to first load a selection, and then press the View button to see the selected areas in red. This helps to better see what parts of the image will be included in a selection. Even partially selected pixels that feather the selection outside the marching ants will show the appropriate degree of red. There are also several new buttons for making luminosity selections in off-center mid-tone areas. They are referred to as mid-tone lights, mid-tone darks, quarter lights, and three-quarter darks. Zone masks have been added. These are very narrow tonal selections that can be used to fine-tune an image's brightness and contrast. The subtracted mask will allow users to create their own zone selections for any tones they wish to adjust. Saturation and vibrance can be addressed using the buttons in the red section. Global effects can be achieved, as can adjustments to specific colors or specific areas of the image. The miscellaneous section has new buttons for creating the Orton lights and detailed darks, as discussed in the articles on my blog. There are also buttons for incorporating your own actions into this panel. Finally, the web sharpening actions now include buttons for horizontal and vertical resizing. There are also buttons for full high-definition dimensions. Sean Bagshaw's previous video series, The Complete Guide to Luminosity Mass, has been a valuable resource for many photographers to help them master these techniques. His ability to explain advanced concepts in the video format makes them more accessible to users of all skill levels. I'm very pleased that he has once again agreed to record a set of videos to show users how to use the new custom panel. It's meant to be a comprehensive tool for a workflow that extends beyond just luminosity masks. And while it may look a bit overwhelming at first, Sean demonstrates how easy it is to use. I'm sure the videos will be beneficial in helping photographers streamline their workflow and getting the most out of luminosity masks and other techniques. I hope you enjoy them.